What's up, y'all? It's your homeboy, whatever, man. Just coming at you real quick, man, with a couple of thoughts, man. Um, man, something that, you know, kind of hot topic for me is support, man. We need to support each other more, man. It don't make no sense, um, the lack of support, you know, between friends, between family, you know, um, a lot of support, you know, when, when people think of support, a lot of people place a monetary value on it. You know, you don't have to spend money to support somebody. You know, it could be something as simple as um, they're trying to promote their business or they're trying to promote an event that they're working or something like that, you know. Um, something where you, you know you just want to get the word out all it takes is a share on social media you know what i'm saying share share somebody's post man if somebody posts something saying hey you know this event is going on this event is coming up you know blah 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 whatever you know whatever you know they might not even be asking for you to share it uh but just share it man you know help people get the word out a lot of a lot of support is word of mouth. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Man, this traffic terrible. Jesus, I'm about to block this shit up too. Um, yeah, man, but but just you know, support people where you can, man. Um, I found that through any of the things that I've been a part of, I usually find more support outside of my immediate circle. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, most of my support comes from total strangers, man. You know, it, it shouldn't be like that, man. Like, there was a time where I planned a health and wellness event. Uh, where we had a speaker come and, you know, talk. Me and my homie Jerome did it. And, yes, there were going to be products that were there for sale. Yes. But the biggest thing for me, man, was I wanted people in the seats. I wanted people to come out and see this great thing, you know, that I worked very hard. Me and my partner worked very hard to put together. You know? And it was so hard to get to get any sort of support man like i'm telling like like friends and family about it and they like well you know that's not really my type of thing blah 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 i'm like it's cool you know i just you know come out for an hour man and, and just see what, what i got going on you know or what have you motherfuckers ain't want to support ain't no they ain't want to tell nobody about it you know what i'm saying it just be little stuff like that man and then what's funny is you know then those same people come back to you and they want you to listen to what they're trying to work on. They want you to support whatever sort of business, network marketing, whatever it is, you know, that they got going on. That's one of the funny ones too, to me, you know, is when I used to talk, try to talk to people about the couple of the MLM things that I did in the past, you know, nobody wanted to hear it. And then they come back and be like, oh, well, such and such didn't work out for you. Didn't hell no, because I can't get no support. You know what I'm saying? And, and even if it was just, uh, again, you know, the conversation, your support in that fashion could have come from just a conversation, allowing me to speak to you about it and tell you what I'm doing or what I got going on. <clears throat> Maybe you come across somebody that's interested and you can direct them my way. You know what I'm saying? Or um, just the practice from being able to talk to people, man. Not everybody is a professional speaker. Um, not everybody is, is excellent at presentations. So, you know, listen to your friends and family when they come to you with that stuff, even if you're not interested. Give them, give them constructive feedback. You know, I never tried to force anybody to sign up for any of those things that I did in the past. Never, never tried to force anybody. Fuckers out here, boy. Um, I never tried to force anybody to sign up for that stuff. I just wanted somebody to listen to me, you know. But it's funny too, right? Because then one of the big things that you also hear is support your friend's business. You know, you motherfuckers will go and buy a pair of Jordans from somebody y'all don't know for two hundred and fifty dollars. You'll go and you know, spend ten thousand dollars on a car, twenty thousand dollars on a car from somebody you don't know. 
You know what I'm saying? Me, you know, and, and I don't have anything that I'm selling, but you know, I, I'll tell somebody about something where there's a restaurant or something like that. You know, hey, man, you should go check out my friend's restaurant, man. It's really good, blah, blah, blah. They got good food, etc., etc. And the first thing they want to know is if they can get some free food or a discount. You know what I'm saying? Or you'll see somebody's store, you know, like I got my homie's hat on. Uh, dope, which is dad's on purpose every day. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think I paid 20 or 25 dollars for this hat, you know, to support him. But I see a lot of people that you know they're selling some sort of merchandise or whatever. And if you tell somebody about it, they'll be like, Well, you know, how much can you get it for? Or what kind of price can you get me on it? You know what I'm saying? Like, how are you supporting somebody's business? If you want a discount, you don't walk in the Foot Locker and tell them, you know, that you want 25% off the damn Jordans and expect them to just give it to you. So why do you pe treat people like that who are small business owners and things of that nature? You know, I, I don't understand. And then I'm out here, you know, I'm doing this charity thing um, with this nonprofit, the LQ, oops, the LQ Foundation, and. Uh, you know, I be wanting people to share that we got an event going on, you know, or we're getting ready to move to this thing where we start to mentor youth, you know, so I'm looking for speakers. Um, we had a scholarship, a scholarship, $1,000 scholarship, you know, um, where essentially you just got to apply for it. And you have to be either a victim of substance abuse or come from a home, um, you know, that was affected by substance abuse. And I can tell you right now, man, like, there's tons of people out there that will qualify for it. I'm hitting people up that's supposed to be, you know, doing charity, supposed to be giving back. They're part of this organization. They're part of that organization. They do motivational speaking. They go out and they volunteer on the weekends. And... You know, I'm like, hey, you know, just simple stuff. Like, do you know anybody, um, you know, who may qualify for this? Or, you know, there was a thing where we were doing a kind of like adopt a family for Christmas type thing. You know what I'm saying? Hey, do you know anybody, you know, that's going through a hard time that can need some assistance? And motherfuckers won't even respond to you. Like, but you're supposed to be big in the community or, you know, you're always out here trying to show off like, like you're doing this and that. But you'll promote someone else's stuff like you know for that but you won't even look at what i'm sending you i just don't understand you know support comes in in so many manners and again it's not always monetary it's not always time consuming even something as simple as a share on facebook how long does it take you to share something on facebook 10 seconds less than that maybe it, it all depends on how bad how fast your click game is i guess you know but it don't even take much to share it, man. You can't get people to do it. Um, you know, I, I, again, I just don't understand. So I think in 2020, man, we got to work on our support for each other. You know, spread the word about what your friends and family is doing. Spread the word. Um, you know, show up to their events. Even if you just pop up for 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Small support. Any sort of support. Um, you know, it, if you're out and you're somebody who donates money, donate it to a good cause. You know, make sure you donate to a good cause. Help out some of the smaller organizations. Um, just, you know, try to try to get more, try to support the people that are around you more. Um, collaborate with the people that are around you more. You know, small businesses, small charities, small nonprofits, small organizations. Um, can benefit from networking and helping each other grow. Um, you know, that's all I'm really saying, man. It's, it's just it's just crazy to me that we'll support a complete and total stranger, but we won't support somebody close to us, even when it comes to free support. But that's all I got, man. It's your homeboy, whatever man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, at whatever man, W-H-A-T-E-V-A underscore man, and I'm gone.